The repair is complete. To remove the motor cover, start to separate the rotor. Strange, bolt is too long. For installing rotors on fat bikes, I added a washer just for that. So now the screws are very long. All of them are loose because they do not use blue color screw bonds. So it got loose because of the vibration while driving. Loctite must be used. Blue color, 243. Which direction should I open from? Open the direction cover where the motor cable is located. Let's open it here too. There is a gap here. Two stainless putty knives are recommended. Swipe left and right like this at the same time. I need to find a hall sensor. The motor is large and the magnetism is strong. It doesn't separate well. In this case, use a vise. Hold the axle in a vise and press the cover from above. Magnetism is strong. Be careful not to get into the cover. Be sure to wear gloves. The motor's magnet pulls the stutter back. Please hold the cover. Motor stutter is disconnected. If you look here, there are three hall sensors. Detach the wire from the cover and leave it out. Next day. Hello, this is Dr. Lord. Let's check if the hall sensor is out of order. Last time the test was unresponsive. So I'm going to replace the hall sensor. The middle three LEDs do not light up. I'll check the cable connection first. Let's see the back side. Break the cable tie. Cut the heat shrink tubing. I cut the cable because the force control failed. It's not soldered. You can also use only heat shrink tubing. Soldering is not required as it is rigid. It comes off easily when pulled. Separate all thin wires. The wire separation is complete. I will do a short circuit test. How to test this connection using a multi-tester? Let's test one by one from red. I'll do a positive check. That's normal. Black negative. That's normal. Yellow, green, and blue are all inspected. Yellow is good. Then the green will be fine. Good. Everything is fine until blue. Motor cables are fine. 100% hall sensor failure. If you look at the opposite side, you can see the hall sensor. How to remove hall sensor? Now let's remove the hall sensor. Cut the tie holding the cable.
You can't just pull it out and separate it. I'm going to separate the hall sensor here. Prepare for the slender job drive. Please put it on the head of the hall sensor. Please tap. Here it is. Remove the sensor. You will need to replace all three separately. Remove the hall sensor. Be careful not to damage the copper coil. Everything seems to have gone well. The hall sensor has been disconnected successfully. Reuse existing heat-resistant insulating tape. Please separate them. Please tear it off. I'll put it back like this. No adhesive is used because it may damage the copper coil. Look at the direction of the hall sensor and purchase the same product. Looking at the direction, it is a 120 degree hall sensor. Measure the size for hall sensor order. I use vernier calipers. Measure the size. It is 4.2 millimeters wide. It is about 10 millimeters wide. The hall sensor number is checked by taking a picture with a smartphone camera. Use your smartphone to zoom in and check. Check the hall sensor head direction before ordering. Three weeks later, what were the supplies needed? Delivery took a week. She needs a silicone for electrical and electronic products. Prepare a quick setting 5-minute epoxy adhesive. This is a new hall sensor. I lost the heat-resistant sheet that I was supposed to reuse, so I used insulating paper. We will cut 0 0.2 trillion insulating paper into a similar shape. Great, well cut. That's great. So let's get started. Prepare the epoxy adhesive. Please push the syringe. That's enough. Mix using a spatula. Avoid creating air bubbles as much as possible. Apply the glue. Very good. Put the hall sensor back in its original place. Please insert a hall sensor. Installation failed because pieces of the hall sensor that were removed remained. Remove remaining pieces. I was caught off guard. I thought I had completely removed it. Here's a piece. Separated. It doesn't look good to the eye. It's solid. Be careful not to damage the coil. This is sad news. While working on it, the new hall sensor broke. Hall sensor leg is broken. What should I do? The legs are very weak. Be careful when handling. Knowing this, I bought three of them. Make a second attempt. Broken and try again. Remove any remaining adhesive. Use captain tape to hold them together until they are bonded. 
Leave it on until it hardens and sticks. Two hours later. Good, remove the captain tape. The hall sensor is perfectly fixed. Insert a pre-cut 0.2 trillion insulation paper. Prepare silicon for electrical appliances. It takes 12 to 24 hours to harden completely. Hall sensor silicon installed before it's used in the same place. I temporarily fixed it with cable ties so that the hall sensor board would not be lifted. Next morning. Remove the cable ties. You have to strip the sheet to connect the wires. You see shrink tubing, so no soldering. Step 1. Insert the heat shrink tubing. Step 2. Twist the wires to up. Step 3. Lay the wires. Step 4. Cover with pre-fitted heat shrink tubing. Step 5. Use a heat gun or mini torch. Great! Connect the remaining wires in the same way. Wire connection is complete. Perfect! Let's check the hall sensor using a tester. Hall sensors detect the phase of a magnet. Let's start testing. Connect the hall sensor connector. The tester lights up. This is a normal pattern. All three hall sensor lights are blinking. Yes! If the light does not flash, try flipping the magnet over. This is a normal blinking pattern. The substrate is coated with silicon to make it waterproof. Good! Check the direction first before inserting the motor cover. You can also look at the bearing position. I wouldn't recommend just putting it like this. It is not recommended to just insert it. The magnet may break if sucked in suddenly. A vise can be used to secure the cover. Take care of your hands. Check the location again. Are you sure? <laughs> I was surprised. Did you see? It's safe to do this. Organize the cables inside the motor using cable ties. Motor coupling is complete. Tighten the bolts in order of greatest distance. Connect the motor face to the tester according to the color. 
also plug in the hall sensor connected. It is normal of 6 less flash by holding the axle and turning it. Secure the wheel trimming stand or turn the bike upside down. Connect the motor controller. Hall sensor error codes are no longer displayed on the monitor. Please turn on the power. Are you ready? That's great. The sound is a bit odd. It's not a smooth sound. The controller and motor are not in phase. This is a smart controller. Step 1, cell phone and connector first insert. Step 2, turn the power back on. Step 3, use the throttle. Check for smooth rotation in the normal direction for 3 seconds. If not, throttle once again. Step 4, if the motor rotates in the normal direction, disconnect the self-learning connector. So from now on, it's real. The phase learning of the controller is over. Success, the repair is complete. Clicking like and subscribing is a great help in making videos.